Hey everybody, it's Chris the Bad Elf, and I'm back with another mapping adventure. Today, we're at Spring Lake Natural Area Trails, and we're gonna explore how to connect the Bad Elf Flex Mini with the data collection app, AppGlow Survey Wizard. What we're gonna do then is collect a few polylines, um, collect the trails, and then collect a few trees. Lastly, we'll be able to export all of that data in the form of shape files so that we can mess with it inside of ArcGIS Pro. So, let's get to it. So, before we start heading down the trail, what's important to do is to set up your data layers inside of AppGlow Survey Wizard. We're gonna set up our polylines so that we can map the trails, and then we're gonna set up some point feature classes so that we can record trees. Next, we're gonna connect this, the Battle Flex Mini, to the AppGlow Survey Wizard data collection app. So, you'll see that on screen now. But what it looks like is pressing the little chain link icon at the top of AppGlow Survey Wizard, then pressing connect, and from there, you can select Bluetooth as your connection medium, the Bad Elf Flex Mini as your connected GNSS receiver, and then you go ahead and press the link button again. The Mini comes with a built-in feature where you can start a track point log. So it'll log every single second a point. So that means it'll follow us as we go all the way down the trail. We'll have that going, but what we're also gonna do is use AppGlow Survey Wizard to collect our trails about every 10 paces or every significant change in direction. Then we'll be able to compare it after inside our post-processing. Looking forward to it, guys. Let's start hiking. All right, all. So we're about halfway through the trail and I'm deciding that I want to collect this tree. So what's really nice about AppGlow Survey Wizard is that it gives you a lot of flexibility when creating uh, feature classes. So you don't have to go back to the desktop. You don't have to do anything like that. What we can do is just create a new layer, create a point layer, name it Spring Lake Trees, and then we can start recording. So I'm gonna put the GNSS right here, record the point inside of trees, and then later we'll see that exported uh, in the form of an AGP file so that we can use it inside of ArcGIS Pro. Well, we made it out the trail in one piece. That was a blast. I love hiking and this trail is exceptional. Thank you for joining me guys. This has been Chris the Bad Elf and you all stay mappy.